Hello everybody, my name is Mass Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics and today I would like to show you the build of a uh, theremin. It is uh, the uh, Open Theremin, which is made by Gaudi.ch. I got this particular board as a gift from uh, Futurist from HighVoltageForum.net. So I would like to show you uh, that I built this kit and uh, what it can do. So let's take a closer look at the board. The board is a very high quality, a very heavy uh, PCB. It comes uh, with gold plating, and this is the uh, the front side of it where the four pot meters and a function key and two LEDs will be. And out here we have the pin headers that connects to the uh, Arduino Uno, which is the whole backbone of uh, this project. Up here you can see the information about uh, the uh, the address and the open hardware uh, and the name of the uh, the author. As you can see, this is a bare board, um, so I had to order the missing parts from uh, Mauser. I think I spent around thirty-five euros um, for uh, for all these parts, and you can also buy this complete kit from um, from Gaudi. It's uh, 74 euro, and then it comes all populated, and you don't have to do any SMD soldering. There's only the uh, pin headers and LEDs and pot meters and so on that you have to solder yourself. Here is the result of soldering up this board with a regular thin tipped uh, soldering iron. It uh, went pretty good. It was only hard to uh, adjust the uh, different components and get them to stay in place while soldering it. So programming this uh, project is quite easy because it only takes five steps and there actually isn't even more explanation to it than the one you can find in the Open Theorem and Guide. So, what you do first is that you download the Arduino IDE. When you have done this and installed it, you go to the GitHub and you click the green button and you make sure you select download as zip. Do not try to download the single files as this will not work. Then you connect the Arduino to your computer with the USB cable. Then you open up the project in Arduino Sketch. You select verify slash compile and then you select upload and that's it. Now it's working. So let's take a look at the case construction, shall we? So now that the uh, Arduino uh, board is mounted underneath the uh, open theremin and the whole uh, theremin board is uh, probably uh, put together, the uh, Arduino has been uh, programmed with the uh, source code, we just need uh, some antennas. So, first we need a plan. And then we need the aluminium bar. And then we need something to bend it around. Now this is where the advantage of having a combined electronics lab and wine cellar comes uh, to play. Because at the top of this uh, Magnum uh, port wine, uh, it's a good 10 centimeters uh, diameter, and that's uh, approximately what we need uh, to bend this uh, antenna. So, let's get going. I sort off the first bit of 250 millimeters. Now I left uh, the rest of the uh, tube intact and uh, marked up the uh, 160 millimeter point, and then the end of the bend. Just so I have uh, a lot more uh, of the tubing to uh, use as a lever when uh, bending around the bottle. So let's see how well this goes. Getting this up to a 90 degree bend. <clears throat> Okay, might require a, uh, a smaller bottle. So this one has a smaller base. Okay. 
since it actually ends up with a nice 90 degree bend. Okay, so now that we have the uh, two uh, pitch uh, antennas ready, I will try to do the uh, complete bend here. Um, I marked up the 133 millimeter mark and I will bend the 105 diameter around the upper part of the bottle here and then we I will see the uh, I'll bend all around here and see how much is really left maybe there is enough uh, to do the uh, additional bending and then just cut off here to get the uh, 30 millimeter distance here but uh, let's see how this goes Not too shabby. It's just skewed a little, but uh, kind of looks like uh, the shape we want. Perhaps it needs to get bent a little more inwards. Mm, see, the mark is still here. So, just like that, looks pretty good, and then just have to uh, bend around outwards again from around here. This I'll just do by eye. So that looks actually rather okay so this is why you have a wine cellar so having removed uh, most of the uh, sharp edges from sawing the uh, tubing I just used a uh, small fine file and then I have some small round files here to remove the inner shoppings also to get the 4 millimeter uh, banana uh, plug connector to uh, fit perfectly into the tubing. So I have my box here of uh, various uh, banana plug uh, connectors, uh, male and uh, female. And what I will do is uh, I will install the theremin in an enclosure and have uh, two female um, plugs sitting at the side and then use the uh, male plugs to plug the antenna into instead of how it was made uh, with the male sitting on the theremin itself. Uh, I'm not uh, too keen on that idea. And then to uh, connect the uh, pitch antenna to each other, um, I sort of uh, some of the uh, thread uh, on one of these male plugs and I will screw it into it, just fits, fits uh, tight. So I'll just uh, screw this in and then file off the, um, the hex nut and then it will give a nice uh, even surface. So uh, a little filing uh, here and there. And uh, this connects uh, nicely. I found a little black uh, plastic enclosure. Uh, might as well use what I have. I used a, made a small uh, sketch of the uh, centimeters, the LEDs, and the push button. It's just uh, roughly measured out uh, with a measure band and then drawn on paper that I can drill through. And then I will mount uh, a couple of. Um, female banana plugs up here in the top where the uh, antenna can connect to. So, just gotta drill this up. So that was fairly quickly done. What I have now is uh, that uh, it fit quite nicely into the enclosure. There's access to the uh, different connectors. From another box of uh, potentiometer fittings, um, 
I found four uh, nice knobs here and then just color cut them with each their color and then I just have to remember that what is uh, volume, pitch and uh, so on. Okay, so for the push button I would have to sacrifice a little uh, push button contact where I have the uh, smaller uh, actuator here. So uh, I will see if I can get this to fit. So all I need to do now is uh, solder the uh, two antenna wires to the connectors. And then it is practically done. Let's see that if we put in the antenna here and the other antenna here. Well, here we have it. A complete theremin. That turned out pretty well. So, let's uh, hear how it plays. The theremin test assembly is now put up. The antennas is mounted. Uh, I have run the uh, calibration program. I have a 2 watt uh, tube amplifier on the output. Unfortunately, it does not have any volume control, so it's a little loud. I have an external microphone connected to the camera to record the sound. So, let's get a taste of what this sounds like. Over here I have the volume antenna and uh, here the pitch antenna. So here I can control the uh, sound level. Here at the front I have the green uh, volume control, yellow is uh, pitch, red was, uh, I forgot, and blue was timbre. So we can change the two different sounds with these. So here we have a deeper pitch. And it can luckily go to standby mode because it's really noisy to just leave uh, open alone. So, that was uh, the Open Theremin version 3 and I will now hand this over to my daughter and enjoy the extra background noise in my life. So, until next time, see ya.